grounded earth element that allows us to feel stable, to feel safe. The water element that allows us to feel our emotions, to feel enjoyment, to feel pleasure, to feel those sensual um, experiences that make life so rich. And then the fire element that is warmth, that is radiance, that is power, that is strength, that is, that is light, it's our ability to see. And then it, as it gets lighter, it's the air element, which is movement, it is breath. And, and, you, and you feel that just lighter, more spaciousness all the way up to ether, which is the one that we're gonna be working with this evening. And ether is the, the lightest, it's, it's our connection with infinity. It's, it's our connection beyond our physical bodies. And the, the sense that is associated with this um, ether element is a sense of sound. And so what I wanna work with tonight is I know that the way the trajectory of the day has gone is, you know, sort of starting really grounded and in the body and, and in a more sort of earth stable place. And I think throughout the day, it's, it's gotten maybe a little bit lighter and lighter. And the, the intention is to help us to connect with a, a more spacious version of ourselves that allows us to, to experience you know, we can call it soul, we can call it bliss body, we can call it, you know, lots of different things, but a, a spaciousness and an infinite nature that coexists with the grounded, solid, material version of ourselves. And so, so we'll do a meditation tonight that um, is focused mostly on, on sound. It's super simple. We're not going to do anything complicated, but we're going to have time to, to ground into the body and then to just, just allow our focus to be on, on the sounds around us without, without needing to, to make anything happen or not happen and just see how that lands, see how that, how that feels. Sound good? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it is, it's a huge honor to get to be here and, and to be associated with LMU and also with Insight LA. And, and as I was, you know, just preparing for this class and, and thinking about, about doing it in the spirit of, of infinity and infinite connection, my, my deep hope is that as we do this work tonight, may it not only be of benefit to us personally, you know, like we sit for a half an hour, 40 minutes, and we will feel different. We will feel more spacious. We will feel more expanded, hopefully. But that it doesn't end there, that the time that we spend, this time that we've carved out, this time that we've created to, to do this, I don't really want to call it work, but to, to be together in this way, in this really intentional way, is a benefit to all beings. And in this, this work with the, the spaciousness of ether, we, we can really feel into our interconnectedness. And so we know that by taking the time to do our own practice, that, that it has an effect on us, but it also has an effect on you know, as we say, all our relations, which is everything. It's everything. There's, there's no, no place where that, that isn't connected. So um, holding for, for myself, certainly a, a broad and vast intention that, that this, this time together really and truly is, is of great benefit. Um, Let's see. I think that is pretty much what I wanted to say about that. Does anybody have any questions or comments? It looks like um, there are too many people to, you know, go through and introduce everybody. I think that would take take a lot of time. Um, but, but maybe before we start, whether you've been involved in 
the yoga day all day or if you've been doing something else all day, just take a moment to, to kind of sit and, and just reflect on your day. Just like let yourself land in what this day has been like for you. You know, so we start to, to come from a, a space of awareness of where we are right now. So hopefully your yoga day has been, has been meaningful and enriching. And if this is the first thing that you're tuning into, hopefully whatever you've been doing has also been meaningful and enriching. I'm in Maine actually, um, it was dark here, but I, I got to have a walk in the woods with the leaves down and it smells so good in the forest. And then I was at the beach and the sunset was pink and orange and it was, it was amazing. So I'll, I'll share that with y'all. Um, all right, does anybody have any questions before we begin? that you could type into the chat or you could come off of mute and ask. Okay, well, we will dive in. Um, this can be done seated in a chair. You can sit on the floor. You can lie down on the floor. I, I often um, meditate lying down. You know, I am not a proponent of creating a lot of suffering. So if you are in a body that just would prefer to be on the floor right now, really the only reason that, gen well, a few different reasons. Generally, the reason not to lie on the floor is we associate lying down with falling asleep. So you're more likely maybe to fall asleep if you lie down. So if you feel like, oh, I'm kind of tired at the end of the day, you might not want to lie down on the floor. But if you're feeling good and that would feel good, it's, it's a nice way to, to really drop in a little bit more easily and to bring a, um, you know, just an intention of, of kindness, of compassion to, to our bodies, to our practice. You know, so we, we can right away step back a bit from, from the striving that often shows up in all these different places in our lives and let it be something that is different from that. So, um, Go ahead and find the position that is going to be most comfortable for you and and know that um, we will be sitting for about 40 minutes. And in no way does that mean <laughs> pick the position that you like now and you may not move. Absolutely. If you get uncomfortable, you can you can shift. But if you choose to shift, choose to shift in a way that is full of awareness, you know? So, so sometimes you might be sitting and, and you're really sore and you're just like, oh, oh my gosh, you know? And, and, and you kind of take yourself out and there's this, this reactivity versus like out of kindness, you know, this might be really distracting to me. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make a gentle shift. And so just bringing again, like all these ways that we can bring awareness and kindness to, to our practice and truly like practice it moment by moment. So finding yourself in that position that is gonna be, you know, hopefully most comfortable for you. And, you know, you want to have a, a spacious elevated spine, not a, not a straight spine but an open heart, an open chest, relaxed shoulders, bringing some ease into the body. So giving yourself time to, to settle into whatever, whatever feels good in your body right now. And, and it doesn't matter to me if, if your video is on or off, um, whatever's most comfortable for you. I'll leave mine on, but I'll probably have my eyes closed a lot. Um, and we will dive in. I'll let you know now that I'm going to guide a little bit heavier at the beginning and then, you know, less and less giving you plenty of time to have your own experience. Slow down. It takes time, you know, like, like it takes time for the organism of this body 
to just settle, to slow down enough to drop into an experience that is different than the zipping around that we spend so much of our time doing. Okay, I think I have talked enough for now. So I will ring us in and I will ring us out with this little bell. haven't already, settle into just a comfortable position, seated, lying down. Feel free to, to check in, to make some adjustments if you'd like. You can do this practice with your eyes open. And if they are open, let them be a bit downcast. Let your your gaze be soft and you just land it on the floor in front of you. And your eyes can be closed if that's comfortable. And it might feel good to just take a few deep breaths, kind of just inhaling and lengthening up the spine, lengthening the top of the head up towards the sky, just making a little, little extra room in the body and then exhale and as you exhale, just feel maybe a, a bit of tension you might be holding in your body. Mind, let that drain out. And do that just a couple more times, maybe even breathing together as a group. Inhale, lengthen up, draw in some breath, soften the belly. And exhale, releasing tightness, tension, just letting everything soften a bit. And one more time, a big full deep breath in, inhale, lengthen up. Maybe even hold the breath for a moment. And then exhale, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And then simply begin with awareness of the body, making contact with the earth. So beginning with the, the earth element, with the stability, the weight, the solidness of this body. You might feel places where you make contact with the chair, cushion and lying down in the back of your body on the ground. And just feel what that feels like. Feeling the, the gentle press of gravity and Feeling into the weight of the body on the ground. And just take a little bit of time here. Allowing some settling of the body, there might be some inner movement that you're aware of, it might feel like a lot. Feel your breath finding its own comfortable rhythm.
taking some time to be interested in the sensations inside of your body. Just knowing that for the next 40 minutes or so, there's something for us to get right, nothing for us to accomplish. Bringing an open, kind curiosity to our experience, whatever it might be. Feel like you're a bit older, really stable, really solid. Notice that there are areas where you're holding on to some tension, there may be some gripping in the jaw, and squeezing the muscles around the eyes. Unwinding. Holding awareness, the stability, the body and the mind connected with earth as earth. This can be the anchor that you can return to. You start to Feel lost in thought, and challenged by some something that might show up. 
can come back to this anchor of body on the chair, cushion, lying down. Yeah. Gently shift our focus now to sound. Continue to be aware of the body, but the primary focus now is on the sounds around you. Like to begin with extending your sense of hearing. How far? Expanding include sounds too far from you. I'm not looking to name the sounds. Identify anything that they are. Just letting the, the sounds be sounds. Some sounds might be pleasant. I really like a sound. Sounds might be neutral. Some might be unpleasant. to come and go. Experiment with bringing your sound attention a little closer.
perfectly normal for the mind to wander. Be focused on sound in one moment and then to realize we might have been lost in thought. It's not a problem, it's just what the mind does. But when you notice that you've been gone, it's near in that moment that you're aware again. It's in that moment that the opportunity to come back to this moment to just begin again. This body sitting. Body hearing. And if you notice that your mind is quite busy, it might be helpful to kind of give it something to attend to. But when you hear a sound, you could just say in your own mind there. sound in that way. It's optional. sounds is that generally as we're sitting here we can't really make them come and we can't make them go and we really don't need to make any effort at all to hear them But it's pretty common that we might be trying. So you might notice that you're you're maybe leaning forward a little bit, or that you're you're kind of like almost reaching with your ears. And if you notice that, it's totally normal. But you might try literally like leaning back a little bit. softening, seeing if you can let the sounds come to you.
continuing to settle back and letting it be a restful practice. Sounds just come and go as they do. I feel like they move through your body. The body becomes a, a bit lighter. The mind becomes a bit more spacious. It really sounds Experiment with expanding and falling. You extend your sense of hearing. See if there's any correlation to how that feels in your body, in your mind. I'm not trying to make anything happen. I'm not happening. Experimenting, being curious. Always return to the body sitting. Always open your eyes.
be able to notice subtler and subtler sounds and sensations. Again, without striving, without reaching forward, trying, settling back softening, letting you come to you. sounds sounds coming from inside of your own body. And sounds outside of your body close by. Sounds far away. This last few minutes of our practice together in this more settled and this quiet space, you might experiment 
expanding and farther feeling into your own infinite, vast, spacious nature. And if it becomes too much, you can always come back to your body sitting, or lying down, open your eyes, be in the room that you're in. The time is to allow yourself expansive, live in light, and free. Moments. I'm going to bring the body and I'll bring it three times. And listen until you can't hear the ringing anymore. And then after you can't hear the ringing of the bell, at that point, begin to make a transition and back into the room, but please go slowly and gently. We're in no rush. We have lots of time. 
You don't want to jar a sense black like me. I can just play that. I'll start with you. to open your eyes if they've been closed. And it's taking your time very softly. Keep your eyes open. Feel your, your body sitting. Gently, quietly looking about the space that you're in, making this, this transition to the more external connection with the world around us, all at the same time staying deeply connected inside so we don't want to rush it it might feel nice to put your hand somewhere on your body that can can feel really grounding Maybe on your heart on your belly on your leg on your face Just gently kindly what that feels like. I'm gonna just experiment a bit. Like, oh, that feels much nicer than I expected. And thanking yourself for your practice, and for your attention, your time. Taking a little bit of time to just reflect on what that was like for you. And then taking a few deeper, fuller breaths. And when you feel like you know, you're a little bit more back, we have we have some time for some discussion. It'd be really nice to hear questions, comments, what that was like for you, what you noticed. So I think we can do it that. You know, if you want to share, you can come off of mute, share whatever you have to share. If it feels like in this, this quiet, spacious space, I don't really want to put words to it. That's Common. I don't want to force anybody to share or talk if you're not, not 
feeling like that would feel good. I'm gonna make some, some time. So a meditation like that. Um, intentionally sort of does create this, this spaciousness, this sense of ourselves as, as more than being solid physical bodies that we often think of ourselves as. different layers of our being, a little bit more chance to be known. To know ourselves as, as infinite. And quite powerful. Would you like to have a comment or a question? Yeah, I just, um... I really felt that when I opened up my eyes, just the sense of oneness. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, me too. You know, and even that the intention at the beginning of, of you know, you made this practice be of benefit to ourselves and to our continued expanded understanding of like what, what is this? But in that that feeling of oneness of, of connection, when we, when we feel like we really can expand that, especially in this time of feeling isolated, you know, feeling like how do we connect? It's so different than what we're used to. That in a in a meditation like that. Um, whether it's, you know, through a computer, but, but, but there are ways that we, we truly can be in contact with each other, that we can feel, feel the interconnectedness and, and in that way know that, that, that we're not alone and that, that I don't want to say, you know, like that, that what we're offering out, it matters. I do want to say that actually, <laughs> that it matters, that, that, that the energy that we're sharing, we feel it. And anybody that is with us virtually or you know, in a room with us also feels it and knows it. And we feel that we feel, we feel others. So it is, it's quite powerful. Anybody else have a, a totally different experience or something else that just wants to be spoken aloud? Could also be typed into the chat. Um, I've been sore for the last few days because I went logging with my uncle. So my body was really speaking to me throughout that. And it was actually really nice. I think somewhere near the beginning, I was like, oh, this could be a problem. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like <laughs> listen very much. But um, it was really nice to kind of like move back and forth between a kind of gentle attention to my body and shifting around and kind of figuring out what was going on there and then shifting back into presence with sound and listening and it was like a really nice and kind of healing experience so that was a little bit of how it went for me yeah and like what you share too like it's such a good example of like keeping it real like this is what's up like the body that I'm in right now is sore. And wow, how, how nice to have this time to, to just feel into what that feels like. 
I don't need to make it go away. I don't need to make it wrong. I don't need to make it stay. But to just just be with it. And then to, it, you know, I don't have to leave the body and go to the sounds, you know, in order to, to you know, like do it right. But, but to just let it be your experience. Okay, I'm, I'm in this body that's sore and it's, it's, it's speaking to me and I'm tuned to the sounds and I can do both at the same time. You know, like we, we, we can hold a lot and we do without being aware of it generally. Like we're, we're navigating a lot at once. And so to step back in our meditation practice and become more aware of like, like you were saying, like I'm aware of the, the tightness in my body. I am aware of the sounds. I am aware of my ability to come and go in a way that, that feels supportive and to experiment. Does this feel good? And if it doesn't, oh, well, let's, let's shift it a little bit. Okay, what if, what if I, if I <laughs> ignore whatever she's saying and I come back to my body because that's what I need, you know? And so as, as our practice evolves, it's, it really becomes our practice, you know? And we, we can really trust our own knowing of sometimes, sometimes a, a sound meditation is just a little bit too much. It, it feels a little, a little more expanded, ungrounded than we want to feel. And then that's fine, you know? Even if we think that's going to be the meditation we want, we can get going and we can be like, actually, you know what? I think I really need to be more grounded. I need to feel my body more solidly. And, and to feel that we can, we can move between these different states of being or I'm taking things way too seriously. I'm being rigid. You know, and this is where it gets more into the different elements to play with. But like, I need, I need to feel into the emotions. I need to feel into some fun. I need to feel like the water element. I need to feel like, like I can flow with my life. I'm feeling weak. I might need to feel some fire. You know, I'm feeling cold. I'm feeling, I'm feeling dull. I need some fire. I'm feeling stagnant. I'm feeling like I'm not moving. I need, I need to feel, I need to feel that. And so, as we work in these ways, they become really useful tools for for helping us us maintain this state of of equanimity, of of balance, of harmony, in a in a way that's that's really real. You know, that meets the moment and, and the, the body and the mind and the emotional state that we're in, in a way that's supportive and, and in a way that's fine. Um, yeah. yeah, so, so just over time, letting that, letting that develop naturally. And because it does, you know, it's nothing we have to like strive for and have to do it right with the pulling back and, and just, Letting it, letting it happen, letting your own deep wisdom just guide you and trust it. Oh, I just saw a note from Tija. Hi. Hello. <laughs> nice to, to have you here. And one thing, I don't know if you guys could see the, the note, but it is so interesting to me that we might be all around the world. I don't know where everybody is. I know I'm in Maine. I know a lot of people are in California. We're connecting through the internet. And I think that, that you know, I think it's interesting. They were asking me to use an ethernet cable and we're doing the ether element and like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what we get into when we start doing that. But, but there's a sense of, of connectedness. We've created something together and, and it matters. And I, I don't know, I can, I can feel it. Um, I hope you can. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have about five more minutes. 
one thing I wanted to say that if if you're staying on, the 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 last thing is a concert, and it might be a really neat thing to play with sound differently in a concert where you're you know probably more externally focused, but to notice like okay where do I feel the music in my body? So different instruments, different um, vibrations. We notice in different places in our bodies. Does it feel like it sticks? Does it feel like it goes through? And so just a, a suggestion that, that it might be interesting and fun to, to kind of play with that, whether it's at the concert or playing with the sound of your own voice, what that creates, listening to music and different types of music. So there's a ton that we can do with sound and and just remembering that 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 sound ether spacious infinite all of those go together and, and it's it's interesting to experiment anybody else have anything that they'd like to add in the next minute or so before we have to say goodbye in this format, but we'll stay connected. <laughs> like, I feel you. Anybody? I was totally fine not to say anything, just to hold the, the experience that you're having. And I guess the last thing that I will say, um, and I said it a few times through the, the meditation, but I want to be super clear that sometimes um, practicing in this way can feel just, you know, can, can feel ungrounding. And so if that ever happens to you and you're like, I don't know what's happening, it's totally, it's, it's okay. You can, you can come back into the chair, you can open your eyes, you can, you know, kind of reorient yourself here and now, you're here, you're now. And in that way, you know, there's a there's a a reconnection with with stability, with presence that um, can can feel safe and good. I think that's it. Thank you so much, Drika. Thank you. Yes. Um, can we just take one moment to I uh, and to just dedicate any merit that we've earned through this practice together to all beings everywhere. So just, just to kind of pause and, you know, so wish that, that any benefits that we may have experienced, any, any benefits, any merits we may have created that, that we, we feel them and we, we offer them with, with love and with care. We wish that all beings may Maybe go out. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Yeah.